A new Civil Liberties Alliance has gone to court to represent Clark Aposian in his lawsuit against the federal government over the legality of bump stocks and the bump stock ban. Fox 13 Scott McCain reports on the lawsuit. Clark Aposian is the chairman of the Utah Shooting Sports Council, and he spent a good chunk of his Valentine's Day here inside the federal courthouse hoping to block a ban on bump stocks. If you own a bump stock and still have it in your possession after March 26th, you will be considered a federal felon. Clark Aposian wants to prevent that. I'm the plaintiff in a case against essentially the Trump administration, the FBI, and uh, specifically Mr. Whitaker. Uh, and, and the ATF. The bump stock is a piece of equipment that essentially allows a semi automatic rifle to shoot more rapidly, basically making it a machine gun. More than half a million Americans own them, but many gun owners and most people didn't even know what they were until the 2017 massacre in Las Vegas. That's when Stephen Paddock used bump stocks on some of his rifles to kill 58 people and wound more than 400 others all while firing thousands of rounds from his hotel room into a crowd at a country music festival. It's when one person used one in a, in a most heinous act, but that doesn't generate a pattern. After that mass shooting, the Trump administration banned bump stocks in 2018, but Clark Aposian says the ban was implemented improperly. But the process in which this final rule was adopted bypassed Congress, and this, and that is the very way that you're supposed to go around and make these things illegal. If you want to do that, bump stocks may be great, they may be bad, but you have to go through Congress to do it. Opposion and his lawyer spent a good chunk of today presenting their case for an injunction to this ban before a federal judge. No word yet, though, on when the judge will issue a ruling on the matter. Ultimately, though, Opposion hopes to overturn the bump stock ban altogether. Outside Federal Courthouse in Salt Lake City, Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.